everyone and welcome to vlogmas day five and like i said like to today is the first day of mine the doctor and martha's undercover work so i honestly do not know how much i'll be able to get done and i don't even know if i'll be able to get a video ready for 25 days I'm a bit overstretched currently at the moment. But I'll try my best, promise. But if I don't today, you understand why. Let's open number five. Ooh, big box. Okay, another big box. The city of Arcadia is the most famous view on the planet of Gallifrey, which the Doctor and the Time Lords call home. Tourism is rare in this location outside of time, so a souvenir like this is to be treasured. Love it. Yep, Arcadia is actually where me and the Doctor lived on Gallifrey. It was where me and the Doctor lived. We didn't live like the main part of Gallifrey. We lived in Arcadia. I mean, Arcadia wasn't so bad, it was a nice, I mean, it was a nice city and stuff like that, it wasn't bad at all really, I loved Arcadia. I actually loved Arcadia, like, it wasn't at all bad at all, like, I mean, if you ask the doctor, he'll say that Arcadia was beautiful, which it, which it was, like at the time, before the time war. I mean, unfortunately, we were completely overstretched in the time war. That Arca the Arcadia just fell during the time war. Unfortunately, Arcadia fell. And it was mine in the doctor's home. The fall of Arcadia. Yeah. I better go because I need to get ready for um our undercover stuff today, so I'll try and film when I can. And if you don't get a 25 days of Phoebe video for a few days. That's just because I'm doing undercover work with me, I'm completely overstretched. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so I'm starting a new series on my channel called Doctor Who Unlocked. And I thought I'd start it today because I thought for day five of 25 Days of Phoebe, I thought it'd be a cool idea to do Doctor Who Unlocked. Basically, I'm going to be unlocking seasons of both modern and classic Doctor Who um, episodes of, again, both sides companions that are underrated or don't get the credit they deserve and all that sort of stuff for Doctor Who Unlocked. I'm really excited about this because I like I love certain companions but I think they get way more I think they get a lot less credit than they deserve. So if I do Doctor Who Unlocked it will uncover What I think is good. Um, personally, I 
personally think that's how I should run Doctor Who Unlocked, just like uncover seasons that don't get the credit or they deserve or maybe seasons that get way too much credit than they deserve. Quite frankly, season two. I am not a fan of season two and I never will be. It's an all right season if you're a Rose fan, but because I'm not. So I think that's the first season I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna like uncover season two and I'm gonna like uncover season two and see if it gets way too much credit than it deserves because quite frankly oh my god i'm trying to choose an elf self intro to, for today's vlog because there's like loads here i can do oh my god yes please that one but yeah so i definitely think that series two gets way more credit than it deserves and i want to try and unlock that to see if I'm right, like, I mean, come on. Rose is my least favourite companion and making the Doctor and Rose a couple was a bad idea to start with anyway. So. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop filming it now, I think. So I'll upload these clips to my iPad along with the Elf Yourself intro that I'm using for today. Okay guys, I've done it. I filmed my very first Doctor Who Unlocked video for the very first time. Um, I unlocked, I think that's the fact that season two, two gets way too much credit than it deserves and I'm hoping a lot of people agree with me on that. But you never know. But yeah, I'm just about to draw a new thumbnail. So I thought I'd talk to you guys and answer a question whilst I start doing it. Um, so, one of the questions you guys asked me is how often do we do um, undercover work? And to be honest, not that often. When we do do it, it's really fun to do. But, um, I hope that answers your question. Anyway. The other question I get is, how often do I get kidnapped? Well, travelling the universe with the Doctor is a risk. You do get kidnapped here and there. And I've been kidnapped, like, tons of times before. So, I definitely think that you have to, like, travel the universe with the Doctor and have an open mind at the same time. I definitely think that. Um, but yeah, so... I definitely think you have to, like travel the universe with the Doctor and also have an open mind about it as well. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm going with. I hope you can see that. Because I'm going to do like Doctor Who Unlocked and then I was thinking of like drawing a padlock. Like unlocked, I don't know. Just run with me here. But yeah, like it is definitely a risk. Like it is definitely one of those risky things like you can't just like sit back and hope that saving the day is not gonna get us kidnapped because quite frankly I've been locked up and kidnapped several times across my life with the doctor and, com and, and company so it's not as easy as people make it sound like it's not as easy as we and the doc me myself and the doctor make it look it's It's definitely hard, that's for sure, and I definitely think that shows a lot as well between me and the Doctor, because we hate it when our friends get kidnapped, but we also hate it when we get kidnapped as well. That's sort of the design I'm going with. Um, but yeah, so you kind of have to travel the universe, I think, personally, with an open mind. I think cream's gonna look better. Ah, that's better. I don't know what I was thinking with that pink. But yeah, like, you definitely have to travel the universe with me and the doctor with an open mind for definite. Ah! I wasn't concentrating then. 
A. Okay. But yeah, so if you're willing to travel with us and getting yourself kidnapped at the same time, come join us. But remember, me and the doctor only take the best. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish this because I need concentration to do this because it's gonna be a big Thank one. Thank you guys. I'm gonna end today's Vlogmas here just because I've got a lot of stuff I need to do with the doctor and Martha. We're going out for dinner again tonight, which is always nice, you know? I don't actually know where we're going for dinner. The doctor's thinking the Meringue Galaxy. I don't know. But before I do, I'm going to answer one of the biggest questions that I think I get, probably me and the doctor get the most, is why do we travel with companions? And there is so many reasons, but I'm going to give you the most complicated and easiest reason. The reason we do is because of the fact that after 900 years traveling in time and space, me and the doctor can't see it anymore. Like you make it your backyard and what you have, a backyard, which I'm trying to reference it. Like you make time and space your whole backyard and what do you have? A backyard. So when we travel with companions, when they see it, we see it. It makes things a lot easier for us because when me and the Doctor see our friends enjoying the wonders of the universe, we see it through their eyes. And I think that's why me and the Doctor travel with friends because it's what we need to see. It's, they make, they make us see the wonders of the universe again when me and the Doctor obviously can't see it. And I think that's so good because Imagine 900 years of space travel, just me and the Doctor, and we can't see it. Like, we've travelled the universe for a long time, but with our friends, we've, we've had various different friends, and when they see it, we see it through their eyes. And it's just such a bliss to see it through our friends' eyes. Like, you have no idea. Like with Martha, the one thing that me and the Doctor like about her is that she marvelates at anything and everything. There's like a childish like glee in her eyes anywhere we land somewhere. And it makes me and the doctor wonder why Christmas is such a magical time for adults. And that's because adults can see the joy in their children's eyes of Christmas. And that makes everything tie together nicely similar for me and the doctor. Because it makes everything for me and the doctor very similar. Because we find... Let me just put you on a tripod because my arm is starting to ache. There we go, that's better. I'm kind of filming one of the tightest corridors outside my room. Anyway, the point is, when you travel with us, we can see it through your eyes, the glory of the universe. And I think that's the reason why me and the Doctor don't like traveling alone, because we need other people to see what we see. We need other people to see the wonders of the universe. Because to Martha currently at the moment, it's still a joy to her. It's still a joy seeing her face every time we land somewhere new and stuff. Yes, Doctor, I'm coming. Um, but yeah, so it's such a joy to see it, I guess. And it's one of the perks of travelling. Um, because, surprisingly, so me and the Doctor are some sort of spontaneous some beings. Like, we just pop into, we just pop into people's lives. Like, it's been the same continuity as always with me and the Doctor. Like, when we had, our first companions were... Barbara and Ian and we just kind of popped into their lives and we popped out again but the whole concept of travelling for me and the Doctor is just we enjoy it I mean saving the universe not by choice like I mentioned yesterday or maybe the day before travelling the universe isn't is a choice but saving it is not by choice I mean somehow trouble just seems to follow me and the Doctor for some weird reason and I'm not exactly sure how that's possible I I'm not sure how that is possible, that it just, trouble just seems to follow us, which is exactly what it is, but there's loads of stuff behind why me and the Doctor do it, and I think it's just because when all those years ago on Gallifrey, me and the Doctor just got bored of the Time Lords and the way of life, even though, I mean, the Doctor did tell me that he just got bored one day and stole a TARDIS and ran away, which is exactly that, and it was the same with me, like, 
even though I was on Gallifrey for a little while, I got bored and the doctor came to collect me to travel around, around the universe. It was just because I got bored of being stuck on Gallifrey because to be honest, even though me and the doctor are time lords, the time lords are still evil. The time lords are evil. Like, they're not like me and the doctor. They don't have a moral code like we, like myself and the doctor have because our code is more is moral we don't like guns we never use weapons the only weapons we have are sonic screwdrivers that kind of thing but the time lords never did that the time lords still used guns during the time war and stuff but that's the difference between me and the doctor and the time lords is that we're all very different people i studied medicine on gallifrey which is the first in any gallifrey in history and i lived in arcadia the second city of gallifrey the most beautiful full of all and i think that definitely shows in mine and the doctor's life because Arcadia was our place where we used to live and stuff like that. It just it reflects on us, I think. And the time war, especially as well, that also reflects on me and the doctor in such a big way. Like people don't realise it, but me and the doctor regret to this day pressing that button. We regret destroying, we regret what we did. We regret destroying Gallifrey, our home. I mean, it was wrong, but me and the Doctor had no choice. It was sort of a no choice scenario there. Like, the Daleks were gonna, like, neither the Daleks or the Time Lords were gonna win. So, it was a no choice scenario in that aspect. And I think, um, that because me and the Doctor have kind of lost our home, Earth is our sanctuary and it's kind of the place that we call home really because we're always saving it, ironic, the kind of place that we save the most kind of becomes our sanctuary even though we live in the TARDIS because ever since the time war it's become our home, you know? Gallifrey was our home before, the TARDIS was just our... So funny thing is, so before the TARDIS became our home, it was kind of just our sort of like ship we travelled in, we went home occasionally, you know, we still, we, can't, we lived, we lived in it, we lived in it, it wasn't really our home yet, but since the time war, me and the Doctor can't return home ever because Gallifrey is gone, so the TARDIS is now our home, where we live, where we save the universe, where she takes us. You know, she's actually become our saviour in that aspect. And to be honest, I've lived in the TARDIS all my life. Ever since the Doctor raised me up, I've lived in the TARDIS all my life. So I've known nothing but her. You know, I've known nothing but the TARDIS. I mean, I've obviously lived on Gallifrey as well, but I can see what the Doctor means by saying it's our home because she has given us the sanctuary we need. And this is the last TARDIS in my universe. Our one? is the last TARDIS in the universe. So it's no wonder me and the Doctor are so protective over it because if anyone got their hands on this sort of technology, it wouldn't be good. So we like to protect her. We like to protect her. Anyway, before I go, I'm just gonna show you what Christmas decorations we've got up now. Right, so this is my Christmas tree. Why is it out of focus? I have no idea. I see my advent calendars are there and stuff. And then, obviously, these are all my little Doctor Who bits from the advent calendars, obviously. Don't know why that's on there. Chief Clan, that, that's not very Christmassy at all. No. Um, and then I've got like a few Christmassy bits here. These, that's annoying, but... It's Christmas. Oh, look at the moon. Beautiful. And then I've got like a deer, and then I've got some elves on the shelves dotted around. And then I'm going to quickly show you what we've done in the console room. That room is a bit of a tip at the moment. Don't ask. So, this is what we've done. This is our little fireplace. Oh, hello. This tripod does not 
against it. Right. But, hello. But, um, yeah. And then, obviously, the cats are, like, there. And then this is our Christmas tree here. We've got the thin one out this year. And then this is what the doctor did in there. This is where we're going to have Christmas dinner, or at least try to have Christmas dinner. At least. This is kind of links to the concert room. So this is obviously the concert room that there. So, yeah. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I am very sorry I rambled towards the end of it. It's just you guys asked me a question and I kind of wanted to explain it in detail but I don't know why I went into so much detail about it. I don't know why I went into so much detail but um, tomorrow's day two of our undercover work. We haven't found anything alien yet in the school where we're undercover so let's just hope day two bring something a little bit more interesting because I really want some action. But first I'm going to go f to dinner with the doctor. Where are we? Oh nice. We're on the planet Sun. Oh nice. Okay so we're on the planet. Okay, so we're on Mars. Apparently there's a restaurant in the distant future on Mars. Okay. Speaking of Mars, one last thing before I go. Make sure you look out the window Thursday the 8th because Mars is going to be close to the Earth this December and it won't be like that for another two years but to also make it more spectacular is the Moon is eclipsing Mars. Earth's Moon is going to be eclipsing Mars. So I definitely recommend you going to watch that because that is an astrological event that happens every two Okay, Captain the Moon doesn't happen all the time, but Mars is an astrological event that comes close by to the Moon. Also, of astrological events, remember that when the planets align for the, f for the first time in 50 years, that is an astrological event that happens very rarely. So that was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity which the Doctor showed me from space. So yeah. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also give it a video... Also give my 25 days Phoebe video a thumbs up as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye.